All right, guys, we're going to be starting our installation on the Corsair Obsidian Series 550D. And I wanted to go over our hardware. This is kind of like a basic setup, pretty much what most consumers would have. So we have our motherboard here, um, Z77 motherboard, you know, with our normal air cooler memory. We have a 1,000 watt power supply. We have a Blu-ray drive, a normal 3.5 inch hard drive, a two and a half inch solid state drive, and we have our video card, which is a 560Ti. So pretty much a mainstream system. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, install your motherboard. And Corsair has gone ahead and pre-installed the standoff, so you don't have to worry about that. So just go ahead, take your motherboard, and just go ahead and put it in and line it up. And it should line up pretty well here. You see, it lines up pretty much perfectly with all of the standoffs. So now you're going to go ahead and, of course, secure it with screws. Now the hard drives are next and we have a, both a two and a half inch and three and a half inch hard drive. So with your hard drive trays, they easily just come out like that. And if you want to install a three and a half inch hard drive, um, it, they do use a tool system. So you simply just put in your hard drive, sort of line it up here and get these little screws to go in. And as you can see here, our hard drive is installed simply slide it back in our two and a half inch hard drive is next and we'll go ahead and take another tray out and you can see there are holes in the tray and what you want to do is line up those holes with the holes on the back of your solid state drive so once you have those lined up go ahead and take the included screws and secure your drive now you can see that i did secure the hard drive here with the four screws and again very simple just slide it in line it up Lock it into place and you're good to go. For optical drive installation, you want to remove your bezel cover, which I have done right here. They easily just pop out. Um, just select the one you want to install your optical drive in. Take your drive here and you just simply slide it right in. And you want to make sure it lines up and you just easily got it through the back here. And then you're going to listen for a click like that and when it clicks like that that means it's locked into place you can see that it is you know right and smooth here with the front of the case and if you want to remove it you just hit the push button here and you can slide it right out and of course push it back in and again it locks right into place now you're ready for the power supply and it just goes in simply on the bottom of the case so you just go ahead and line it up and slide it in and of course, you are going to secure it with screws. Our last piece of hardware is, of course, our video card here. And you just go ahead and install it just like any other video card. Just line it up here and lock it into place. Of course, you're going to secure it with two screws. Again, the expansion slots do use thumb screws, so you're pretty much you know, good to go. Don't need a screwdriver for that. So we're going to go ahead and finish our wiring and show you what everything is going to look like. So now this is what the back side of our case looks like. You can see that we do have a lot of wires here. Now Corsair does include some zip ties. So we're gonna go ahead and tie this all up, make sure you know everything's on this side. Now remember, this part of the case right here, the motherboard tray is kind of exposed higher. So you wanna put all your cables kind of over here how we have them. Now of course you are gonna have your CPU power cable running over here, which shouldn't be that much of a problem. And of course, you can see the CPU cutout here with our back plate. You know, it would be easy to take this off without having to remove the motherboard. Our system is completely installed here. You can see that there are hardly any cables, really. Everything is routed behind the case. So you're going to have good airflow and everything. So let's just go ahead and put the final side panel on and we'll go ahead and see if the system turns on. Now it is more like the moment of truth. You put your system completely together and it's time to power it on. So let's go ahead and do that. And our system powers on and you can see the uh, power button here illuminates nice and white and so does the hard drive activity LED. Now if we be really quiet, you can see how quiet this case is. It's very, very quiet. So I'll shut up for a second so you guys can hear. Nice and quiet. Of course, we do have three fans running plus our CPU cooler. So this is a very quiet system. 
Um, again, this is Bob Buskirk for Think Computers, and this has been the installation into the Corsair Obsidian Series 550D. Make sure you check back very soon on Think Computers to check out our full review of this case. And remember, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.